Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since we had consistent dedicated style videos, but I really wanna get back to doing them. I feel like I'm getting in a good groove with the vlogging. So now I'm like, okay, style videos once a week, once every two weeks, something like that. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Ah! I, I hate this tree so much. I should have sent it, okay video i wanted to show some outfit options other than denim looks denim such a good staple goes with everything pretty much every occasion but sometimes i just get tired of wearing denim i start to feel like my outfits are boring there's only so many ways you can style denim without feeling like you're repeating yourself so over the years i've tried to fill my wardrobe with really good denim alternatives so i just wanted to go over a few of my favorites that get me through fall winter i don't know i don't know how many pieces i have i want to say maybe like seven pieces i really feel like these give me enough outfit rotations that i don't feel like i'm lacking outfit choices and clothes and outfit options first option is a good pair of fall winter shorts this could be leather, this could be wool. I love like a really good pair of wool, like a gray, almost like men's suit inspired type of short. But I picked this really thick, almost like a satin short. And I think that um, even though this is black, it gives really good contrast. I should move because I think I'm gonna put my outfits right here. Wait, uh, uh. No, I'll put them right here. I feel like it gives really good contrast. So when you are wearing like an all black look, these stand out because they do have a little bit of a shine to them. Um, you can layer with tights. You can do over the knee boots. You can dress them up with heels if you're going to more of like a fancy thing, like a nice dinner or an event, like a holiday event. So I really feel like these carry me really well throughout fall, winter. I love just like alternating some type of shorts throughout my wardrobe throughout fall winter. Next is one of my personal favorites and it is a mini skirt. I, I actually don't have a ton of mini skirts because I really feel like I have shopped well in the mini skirt department. I've got, I don't know, like three or four really, really good ones that give me so many outfit options. So I don't really feel like I need to add a ton more to my wardrobe. If I see a cute one, I'll grab it. But for the most part, I'm not ever really looking. I styled this one. It's just like a button down mini pinstripe navy. It kind of reminded me of like a suit, but in a mini skirt version, I would die if I could find a blazer that matched this exactly. I love like a matching um, mini skirt suit. I think it's just so masculine and feminine at the same time. And kind of like the shorts, um, tights, booties, heels if you want to dress it up. You could even do like a chunky lug sole boot to make it edgy. Options are endless with a mini skirt. And the shorts, they really do kind of go hand in hand. The next option is a printed pant. Printed pant of some sort. I said, okay, I'm going to do a printed pant. I really like went for it and grabbed my patent snakeskin pant. Wasn't messing around <laughs> with this outfit, but I love these only because you can literally throw them on with a tank top and your outfit is already just very cool. It's like you've got print, you've got a lot going on. They're like very fashion forward. They look expensive, or at least I think they look expensive. You might be like, girl, please. We'll rephrase. I have seen other designers do a snakeskin pant at like 400 plus dollars. And I do think it's really hard to find like a good quality looking pair. But when we're talking about printed pants, I don't mean like go all out with the snake print. I mean, you could do like a plaid, you could do a gingham, you could do a hound's tooth. Like there's so many different prints that you could do. But the great thing about these is that you can, but like I said, with any printed pant, I mean, you just throw them on with even a basic button down, tank top, anything, and there's your outfit. Like you don't even need to layer. You don't really need to accessorize that much because you already have your statement piece which are these, they're just so, so good. The thing about prints though, is that sometimes I'll buy a print and then two days later I'm looking at it like, why did I buy that? I think because generally we just get tired of prints. Just make sure that when you're buying a printed pant that it really fits your, your wardrobe and your like style persona, if you will. Next, oh, next is an empty hanger. So next is a trouser and Trousers are just so easy all year round. Obviously in the winter you want to buy more of a thick trouser. In the spring you can do like a linen or like a really light, almost like silky type trouser. But I love this denim combo trouser. When I saw these on Zara, I snagged them so fast and they were sold out within like 30 minutes. I'm so glad I got my hands on these because 
I've been searching for the link forever and I cannot find a link, but I will post the reference number. Maybe somebody will be selling on Poshmark or eBay or uh, what's the other one? A good pair of trousers, like I said, all year round, sneakers, boots. You can literally make a trouser outfit out of anything in your wardrobe and you can like make it work based on your style. So I always gravitate towards trousers. It's one of those items that I feel like you can't have enough of in like every shade, every color, every fabric because they are probably the best alternative to jeans without being like too far out of somebody's comfort zone. I feel like they're just really easy to style and they're so versatile. If you feel like you have too many pairs of jeans and you wanna start somewhere, start with the trouser because I feel like that will be the easiest to style for you. We have a pair of leather pants. Okay, these are actually vegan leather and they're actually vegan patent leather. Pat, like full leather, like whether it's a matte leather or a patent, I mean, it doesn't matter. These are again, very versatile. I mean, I styled this with just a t-shirt um, the way I styled it, I mean, you could do t-shirt and like a pair of Converse or a pair of like loafers, just something super simple. You can layer a blazer. So I just feel like this is another one of those that almost is kind of like the trouser, like just treat it like a denim, like just pretend like you're wearing denim, style it how you would style denim, and then just open your eyes and you're wearing leather pants. Some people have told me when they're kind of trying to find their personal style that they think leather pants are so intimidating. And I always say just treat them like you would denim, style them like you would denim, and then there's your outfit. You don't need to think too hard about it. Um, but they're, I think they're a great alternative because they are such like a fashion forward piece and they are, I would say they are a classic. I had these for almost eight years now and I wear them still every season. Like they're not going out of style. I think they're cool. They dress up any look and you know, don't be in fear that they're gonna like be out of style next year because I do think they are considered a classic. Um, these, by the way, could barely, these fit me so amazingly before I had Rumi. And I mean, they were working overtime. That zipper was getting paid double um, while I had them on. I haven't put them on since. Who's calling me? Hey. Where is she? She's upstairs. Let me call you back and like, mm, I'm. That's fine, don't worry. I just walked to my hotel room. Okay, I'll call you right back. Bye. That's my dad wanting to talk to Rumi. So the next alternative I have to jeans is a two-piece set. I, I just love a good two-piece set. And at first, I feel like I was really hesitant into buying two-piece sets because I always just felt like I was wearing pajamas. And I don't know what it is about me. I see them on other people and they look great, but then I always feel like I'm looking like I'm about to go to bed. Like it's all about how you accessorize them. But I do think that a two-piece set can look really chic and classic and just overall, just like a really beautiful look, especially in the neutrals and in the, I don't know, I was gonna say black, but I do feel like black sometimes can look a little PJ-ish. But I will say just be careful about textures and materials and colors and prints, especially because I do feel like those can kind of play a role in how they look pajama-wise. I had this one from Zara for, I mean, I've had it for about five years now and I wear it again every season. I'll wear it with sneakers, flats, boots i love pairing it with like all of my chocolate browns i feel like something like this is a good way to work those color tones into my wardrobe you can wear them together you can wear them as separates um so then you get more wear out of each piece and lastly one of my favorite i, I think i've said this like three times now but this really is one of my favorite all year round pieces and it is a full midi skirt. I just love how feminine a full skirt looks. You can either take full advantage of the feminism of the skirt by adding a bow or a big belt or like a cute sweater, or you could take it completely opposite and do like an edgy structured blazer and like a boot or like a chunky loafer. And I like the juxtaposition of that look, but I also just like really playing into um, how feminine the skirt is and just like taking that look all the way. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If there's anything you wanna see styled, any topics you wanna cover, um, any outfits you wanna see, let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.